to get the free notes of electrical circuits check the link in the comment section and install the app for free norton's theorem question find the current through 30 ohm resistor here in this circuit we have to find the current through this 30 ohm resistor by using norton's theorem solution first of all let's see what is norton's theorem norton's theorem states that a linear two terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source in in parallel with resistor rn here this in is the short circuit current at the terminals and this rn is the equivalent resistance at the terminals when all the independent sources are turned off and here this will be the load resistor rl now suppose we have to find the value of il let's say this is il and we have to find this il so il is equal to this is according to current division rule in multiplied by rn divided by rn plus rl and this circuit is called as norton's equivalent circuit norton's equivalent circuit now let's see the question now here we can see first of all let's find the value of rn so here we will write step number 1 to find to find norton's resistance that is rn remove rl remove rl and turn off turn off all independent sources independent sources now when we remove this load resistor here we can see the load resistor value is 30 ohm here so here we can write rl is equal to 30 ohm this is the load resistor and we have to find the current through this 30 ohm resistor we have the value of rl and we have to find the value of this in and this rn so first we are finding the value of this rn now let's see so to find rn remove rl so here from here we will remove this rl and now this will be our rn and we have to turn off all the independent sources so here we can see this is a voltage source so when we turn off a voltage source that time it will be a short circuit so here this will be a short circuit and also this will be a short circuit now here we can see this 20 ohm and this 10 ohm are connected in parallel so therefore rn is equal to 20 ohm parallel with 10 ohm so this will be 20 multiplied by 10 divided by 20 plus 10 so therefore rn is equal to 20 multiplied by 10 divided by 20 plus 10 so it is equal to 20 by 3 so let's write it like this 20 by 3 ohm this is the value of norton's resistance now we got the value of norton's resistance next we have to find the value of norton's current so step number two to find i n again what we have to do remove remove r l and short circuit short circuit terminals now here we can see when we remove this load resistor rl and when we short circuit these terminals 
then this current will be Norton's current I n. So, here this current will be I n. Now, we can easily find the value of Norton's current. Let us say this is current I 1 and let us say this is current I 2 because the current flows from this positive terminal to negative terminal and here also the current will flow from this positive terminal to negative terminal. So, now to find the value of I n, let us assume this is a node and here let us say its name is node 1. So, let us apply KCL, apply KCL at node 1. So, according to KCL, summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node. Now, here at this node, the entering currents are I1 plus I2. So, here we can write I1 plus I2 is equal to leaving current is I n. So, here we can write I n. Now, this I1 will be 10 minus this voltage. Now, here we can see here let us assume this is a reference node or ground node. So, this node voltage will be 0 because this ground this is a ground. So, its voltage is 0. So, its voltage will be 0 volts. So, here the value of I1 will be 10 minus 0 divided by 10. So, 10 minus 0 divided by 10 then plus I2. Now, this I2 will be 20 minus 0 divided by 20. 20 minus 0 divided by 20 is equal to I n. Now, here we can see 10 by 10 is 1 plus 20 by 20 is 1. So, it is equal to I n. So, therefore, I n is equal to 2 ampere. This is the value of Norton's current we got. Now, let us copy this circuit from here directly and let us substitute all the values of I n and R n. Now, here if we substitute the value of I n, it is 2 ampere, 2 ampere and the value of R n, the value of R n is 20 by 3 ohm. So, it is 20 divided by 3 ohm. Now, we can easily find the value of I L. So, let us substitute the value of I n. It is 2 ampere multiplied by R n value is 20 by 3. So, 20 divided by 3 upon again R n 20 divided by 3 plus R L. R L value is 30. So, therefore, here we can write I L is equal to 2 multiplied by 20 divided by 3 divided by 20 upon 3 then plus 30. So, it is equal to 0 0.36. 0 0.36 ampere is the value of current I L. The current I L value is here we can write I L is equal to I 30 ohm that is the current through 30 ohm and it is equal to 0 0.36 ampere. So, this is the current through 30 ohm resistor. Let us see what we have to find in this question. We have to find, find the current through 30 ohm resistor. So, this is how we can find the value of current by using Norton's theorem. Check the link in the comment section and install the app for free. Thanks for watching.